I just really wanted to touch on the emotional because like Lydia said earlier, I'm sure I'm not the only person in this room, I didn't realise how severely depressed, how much I was struggling with low mood I was in the menopause until I started to come out of the other side. Um, and that was only through talking to my team. And actually one of the best things that I found was I went and saw a psychosexual therapist at the Marsden. I was really lucky. Please find out if there's someone you can go see. I'm sure Louise will be able to do the job. Um, but she talked to me about what it was. And I just went in and cried. And I was like, I'm, I just feel low all the time. I'm doing all the right things. I'm exercising. I've stopped drinking. I'm trying to sleep loads. You know, I'm doing all the things that they tell you lift your mood. But I just can't get there. And she was just so wonderful. She went, any person who in this world who goes through natural menopause will not experience your level of estrogen suppression on the medication you're on. Mm -hmm. There is no wonder you feel like you're abnormal and there's something wrong with you because there is a lot going on. And it just really reassured me, actually. And it made me not feel like I was losing my marbles. But the impact of menopause on, on the mental health is such a huge thing because it, I, you girls can like elaborate on this. It does make you feel as though you are ha your life is completely robbed from you. You are not who you used to be. Mm. You can't be the person that you were. And I don't know if anyone else can relate to this feeling, but I was kind of like, why have I survived cancer if this is my life? I was that low. Um, with you guys, is there anything in terms of mental health that you think is really beneficial for our audience to hear that has helped you to lift you out of those places or maybe people you've gone to see or things just that have helped take the edge off or what would you recommend? I mean, for me, um, one of the things you said there was about the fact that um, on in a medical menopause, you know, your hormones go to basically negligible. Um, but they also do that overnight, where a natural menopause happens over time. But you go from normal, well, not normal, because you've been diagnosed with cancer and you feel terrible, but um, uh, your menopause happens in a day. And then you've, got, you've gone from normal hormones to absolutely none, and then you just feel, like you said, terrible. Um, and the only thing I really found that kind of helped was just to rely on my friends and try not get sucked into my feelings too much and push through it. And that doesn't sound particularly helpful. But I tried to carry on my life as normal because even though I didn't feel like myself anymore, my life was still as similar to my life as possible. You didn't want to be a slave to the menopause. Yeah, I didn't feel like myself, but at least my life hadn't changed as much as I would want it to. Oh, you're sorry, I've been distracted by Jemima again. <laughs> Is there anything that you found helped you emotionally or that you still did, because you're still dealing with? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, the, my main bit of advice to anyone going through, any, whether it's cancer treatment or the menopause, is to talk I think it, it's quite evident there's a couple of people that I've spoken to recently who were going through all of these things and didn't feel that they could talk about it. And as soon as they let it all out, you know, yeah, it was an emotional and we all cried, but it lifted that. And it, it was, you're not alone. We're all going through it. We're all, we're all experiencing it. And we shouldn't be embarrassed to talk about what we're, what we're going through. And I've, in every, every aspect of my life, I talk, and that's my therapy, and this is why I use social media, because if I didn't get it out, I would implode. I'm going to have this for all of my life. So if I don't talk about it, and if I don't impart, like if I don't talk to other people, you, you, just, you just explode. It's true, and it's like we talked about talking therapies and stuff can really help too. CBT, counselling, mm -hmm. if, if you're fortunate enough to be able to go private, um, see what's available to you from your oncology teams, through your GPs, um, because it, it's so true, just talking about it, helps you to deal with your thoughts, isn't it?